Hey, Mark's Conti. Out on the street. Trying to find a new, uh, a new path to walk for <laughs> people that are not from New York. I know you guys like the, uh, you guys like the background stuff, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed my, uh, talk with Tim Canova. I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get out scooped on that. Because I know sometimes you say, ah, Tim Canova, I'm going to go interview Tim Canova. I had made that, that, that contact. He, he, I reached out to him and he said, yeah, yeah, come down. I was going to go anyway, but, <laughs> but um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a, uh, I like that guy. I mean, he's, he's doing, he's doing it. You know what I mean? He's doing it. He's, he's out there, you know, he's one of the few, he had momentum and, and, and by all, <clears throat> by all rights, he could run in the Democratic Party and, and, you know, win that, dem that primary, but he didn't. He, he just said, no, I'm going to. I'm going to run as a independent in November, and uh, I'm going to unseat Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Love that guy. So today I want to talk about something that, um, you know, we're, we're living in the age of uh, guilt by association. Like if you don't talk about something, that means you, you can, you're, you're for it, or you're, you, you, you got a secret, you got a skeleton in your closet, or some shit like that, right? So I'm going to, uh, I want to, I want to, I want to dive in. Pizzagate. Uh, Pedophilia, the the Hollywood pedophiles and ugh, fucking. I I want to make I first the first thing I want to do is I want to make a distinction, right? And uh, and this is in no way defending pedophilia or or you know any. It's just hear me out, right? There's 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 two types of perverts, right, in the world, right? One is the pervert that that. It achieves fame, rock stardom, Hollywood fame, where women throw themselves at at you, or you know, young men, you know, wait in line. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't really work that way. It's almost always where men wait, women wait in line to meet the successful man. The other way around, it doesn't really work. So that's that's where we're kind of. You know, and in, I guess in the gay community, that's also a phenomenon where young men will wait for successful men, right? But 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 here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let me just get past this because it's a sensitive subject, right? I don't want to hear. I don't want people to hear me hear what I'm really talking about unless they watch the show, right? But here's the deal, right? Now I'm I I have I was a, a musician for for a long time. I was in a band that that took off. You know, I don't talk about it, but I, it's it's on it's on the record, right? Sort of, and and I could tell you the feeling when when you're in that you're in that thing. You you know you're 24 years old. You, you know your, your hair is more beautiful than mine is right now. Right? And like for example, Metallica said it right. The, the singer of Metallica said it that when they were at the top of their game, they had women, you know, throwing themselves. At them, right? You know, like like it was. They would play a show, and I remember the the singer said he'd have, you know, he had like had like six women in the shower with him, right? Now he didn't stop to say, by the way, how old are you? Or you know, what, what, you know, can I see your ID? Right? No, that, that's that, the the point. The distinction I want to make is that we cannot blame every famous person, every rock star, for. For their for their success, for their um, sexual uh, uh, draw, their attraction, right, their attractiveness, right. When they act on it, yeah, there is there is I, I imagine there is a consequence, but very few people have ever experienced that kind of fame where where you turn around and there's two or three women, you know, wanting to sleep with you, or, you know wanting to get to know you a little better, right? And rock stars and Hollywood celebrities, right? Right? They all experience that. That's part of the game. And in my view, it's not a bad thing because look, every single rock star, without exception, has probably inadvertently slept with someone under 18 in the United States of America, right? It just happens, right? 
and the the age of consent. This is actually a workaround for a lot of those a lot of those characters that that need to be with young people. Their workaround is Europe, where, for example, in Italy, there's a um, the, the the age of consent is only I don't know 15 or so. But but here's what I want to say, right? I, before I get in trouble and people twist the words that I'm saying is that. The, 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 the type of, 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 you know, pedophile that we're talking about right here, where, where, where a rock star, where women, you know, and young, where's, he, where's the mother? Where's, where's the 16-year-old's mother when the, when the girl's out in the nightclub at 4 o'clock in the morning looking to, you know, fuck a rock star, right? right? And, and she looks like she's 21, right? So th there's that type of... There's that type of, quote, pedophile, right? And there's a tremendous difference between the one that, that the, the, the community that chases after the Pizzagate stuff is talking about, right? That's the, that's, that's the, uh, here's, that's the, the sick one, right? That's the sick fuck, right? The, the rich guy. He sees the rock star screwing, screw, you know, he's got a, he's got an, a, an affection for young, you know, children. And he's a fucking deviant, right? That's the deviant, right? That's the rich guy who, 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 there's no attraction to this guy. Guy's a jerk off. Guy's a, guy's a sleazy scumbag. Fat old fuck, probably, right? And nobody wants to, no, there's no young people who want to go near that guy. But they'll, but if you give, if, if you give a, a desperate, you know, 15 year old two grand you never know what she's gonna do right see that that's the you know or or the stories of which are not they're pretty factual at this point they're pretty confirmed where you know people like Bill Clinton would you know they would get on they'd have actual charters and planes where they would you'd get on the plane and the plane would take off and you'd have all kinds of all kinds of hookers and all kinds of deviant sexual activity going on and then the plane would land and then everybody would be happy right you pay it's like a like a fucking circus right getting on the circus so all i want to say is that there is two distinctions and and i and i would hope that no one um accuses of you know all of my idols you know bands like metallica and poison and you know and and you know two live crew and oh, all these guys that that inadvertently screwed they're not pedophiles. They're, they're famous people. There's a big difference, you know. And and anybody who most people only that's a that's a that's a one percent as well. See, the wealthy is the top one percent, but fame is also probably less than one percent of the population has ever experienced that sort of thing. And what happens then is wealthies, wealthy people with so much. And so much, you know, disregard for the feelings of others, right? Will pay for it. Will pay to make that happen to themselves, because there's the rich and then there's the famous, right? And there, there is a distinction there. Right? So that's all I'm trying to say is that I don't, I'm not defending, you know, I'm not defending having consensual sex with someone who might be under 18, right? I know it's illegal, right? It's an, it's an illegal thing. What I'm saying right here is illegal, right? In the United States of America. It's not something I ever did, but it's, I'm, I'm saying that it is something that inadvertently happens. And, and, and again, you see, you know, it's, my, my voice is shaking because I'm speaking a truth that a lot of people are afraid to talk about or, or have never talked about. And then they wrongfully accuse some rock star. Like, what are we gonna do? Just lock up Justin Bieber? You know how many, you know, how many young women he's probably had? Had, you know, I, more than we could probably count. I bet, right? <laughs> so, does it make him a bad guy? Fuck, do I know? I don't. I don't know. All I know is that when when there is an attraction, right? When when a, when a, when somebody is seeking a sexual encounter with somebody else and they achieve that sexual encounter right that's consensual in my view it's when someone is trafficking that's a whole nother ball game 
the two are not, what I'm trying to say is that the two are not the same where you have you know like enslaved hookers in in El Salvador or in, in uh, Dominican Republic or you know in Southeast Asia like Thailand and, and, and Cambodia and Laos and, not Laos Cambodia right when you have when you have these these pockets of poverty or you know there's there's so many there's so many deviant brands of prostitution and such but that's all I wanted to say I just wanted to touch on it I wanted to put my my uh, I wanted to put my hat in a ring in that to, to say because I've never actually spoke about it and and I I, I have that little experience as being a, uh, a musical celebrity almost and you feel that lift off and you feel where where people they want to be part of something right and you're giving it to them, you know. I think a lot of a lot of musicians and a lot of celebrities are they're not bad people and we cannot say all of Hollywood are a bunch of scumbags all of a sudden. I don't like that. I don't like that I don't like that that generalization at all. But if you want to go after someone like you know, some disgusting I can't even think of the names right now, but some disgusting character that like like Charlie Rose using his using his his position to to fuck over women, literally fuck women, if they want to keep their job. That's a that's a that's a low life right there, right? That's that's someone. That's someone who needs to be uh, brought to justice. So anyway, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. Stream of thought today. Glad to have gotten that out. Thank you. Peace out.